we can see the astronauts have gotten into their suits and are now working with SpaceX suit technicians and the closeout team. And that look, yeah, that's our commander, Shane Kimbrough. There's uh, Megan MacArthur getting helped into her uh, gloves in her spacesuit. And mission specialist Thomas Pesquet will be making his second trip to space. But that's Aki Hoshide uh, having a laugh <laughs> with some of the uh, suit technicians. There's Shane Kimbrough, pilot Megan MacArthur in the front. Megan blowing kisses. <laughs> Toma and Aki ready for their ride to the space station. And inside the elevator there, there is a poster you can see in the background. It has the signatures of folks who have worked on this mission. And here they come, the Crew 2 astronauts taking their first steps outside before their journey to space. I love this moment. They're now gonna have the opportunity to wave goodbye from a safe distance. Um, the distance is normal protocol, uh, of course, for space flight. And it looks like Bob Benkin is there in a blue polo with uh, the son of he and Megan MacArthur. ONC departure on schedule. All right, so we just heard that announcement that the crew has departed the operations and checkout building on schedule. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission and liftoff. Got speed endeavor and crew two. Copy, one alpha. Endeavour launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2 now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure, max Q, is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. Throwing down helps us pass through this period, which should be coming here shortly. Dragon, stay safe. Dragon. I think you make be a great rest of your trip. Say hi to the crew of Dragon Resilience from us and let them know your rocket is home safe. Thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. See you side, Crew 2. Thank you very much. We're great. It's glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to Crew 1 when we get there. Thanks. Dragon SpaceX, you are go to begin the broadcast event. Hello, everyone. Welcome on board Endeavor. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Right now, we're over kind of eastern. Hello, south. everyone. Welcome on board Endeavor. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Right now, we're over kind of eastern South Africa. So uh, it's really great looking out our windows, and we get to see some pretty cool stuff up here. But we had an incredible launch. Um, hopefully, you guys got to watch it this morning. Uh, as right as the sun was rising, we took off. Uh, we chased the sun pretty quickly and caught it up uh, just a few minutes after we took off. That was pretty special to see the sunlight coming in um, shortly after liftoff. Uh, we're going to show you around the vehicle real quick. Uh, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I'll pass it over to our pilot, Megan MacArthur.
Hello, Earth. It's uh, great to be back in space again after a few years for me. Um, the ascent was incredible. The ride was really smooth. Uh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, there may have been some hooting and giggling up here uh, while all that was going on. We hope you enjoyed the show as well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of relearning. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. It feels really good, but it feels a little bit weird, too. Fortunately, it's a nice small space that uh, I can relearn to move around together. I'm going to hand it over to uh, Toma, who's going to show you around a little bit of what I'm up here. Thanks, Megan. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, Toma, Mission Special. I'll be your tour guide today uh, in the Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. Thanks for flying with us. Welcome on board. Uh, our commander, Shane Kibro, welcome your pilot, Megan McCarter, also. And uh, next will be Aki Hoshide. So, as you see, it's pretty roomy. The ride up was fantastic. This is the hatch behind this. Of space, harsh temperature, temperature, and bad environment, bad stuff. Inside, very comfy. We feel very well protected. Everything is great. Um, if you if you get closer, you can get a view out the window, and I'll try to give you that. If the cable is long enough, and this is what we get to see. Coming up on Madagascar, but it's cloudy. I don't think you get a good view. But we'll try to get pictures, and I can show you maybe. The cargo area down there, because uh, this vehicle is bringing people up to space, but also cargo. And if you follow me, and I'm going to flip and try not to make everybody sick, <laughs> down there is where we have a little cargo. There's free, there's uh, freezers. Uh, this is our suits, nicely packed. This is some more cargo. We have our, uh, our uh, water landing equipment. And this is all nice and tidy. And behind those walls are a lot of other equipment that we need, clothes, food, and etc. So with that, uh, now that you're familiar with the capsule, I'm going to hand you over to Aki Hikohoshide, Aki for short, from JAXA, and he's going to give you some more information. Hello, Earthlings. Uh, <laughs> And it looks like we lost that live signal. As well, um, one thing, uh, this capsule looks just like our mock-up simulator in Hawthorne, except you can't do this because we're upside down. And this is actually the hatch that goes to the uh, International Space Station. And once we dock, uh, we're going to open this hatch and get on board and uh, see our friends uh, who are up there right now. Now we have a fifth crew member and uh, as uh, you can see Shane is holding him right now but he can actually fly. It's a penguin that uh, our boys uh, chose um, and uh, his name is Gwen Gwen. Gwen Gwen. Welcome Gwen Gwen to space. That was really cool seeing Gwen Gwen uh, start flying after we hit zero G. Um, tomorrow, Aki talked about we're going to dock to the International Space Station. Uh, it's going to be around 5 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Hope you guys can join us for that. But it's going to be great to be on that forward port on the space station and then join our friends there. Crew One is on board along with uh, Expedition 65, a couple Russians, and Mark Van der So uh, we're looking forward to joining that crew and having a, a big time up there with 11 people on board. Megan, any closing words? And I think we can just show folks kind of what our environment looks like up here, Shane. Uh, these are the displays that we use to monitor the spacecraft systems through all the different phases of flight. So we had uh, displays up, of course, during ascent, and then we'll have some uh, ability to monitor the docking sequence as well. All of the burns that will get us closer to the space station will eventually be able to see uh, different kinds of images of the space station on our screens as we get closer. And then, of course, uh, once we contact the space station, we'll monitor uh, the docking system mechanism uh, using these displays as well. So it's pretty neat uh, to see the touch screens and uh, all the different facilities that they have. We can bring up different um, systems, pages, while we're working uh, through the different activities. So those are something, uh, something neat to see. Rather than the old-timey steam gauges, we have these pretty cool touch screens that we can use. 
One thing I'll add before we sign off is uh, Toma noticed a little while ago after we were getting out of our suits, uh, he looked out the window when he saw our second stage pretty much flying in formation with us just underneath us, and that was very special. So we all rushed to the window to look at that for a little while. So that was pretty cool. So uh, we're, we're enjoying our uh, first day on orbit. So we got a lot more to go, and we're looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of our capsule. And uh, we'll be in a much bigger environment tomorrow once we dock with the International Space Station. Have a great day. Take care. So long from Endeavor. Well, thank you so much for sharing those views with us and giving us a glimpse into life on board Dragon and uh, letting us meet Gwen Gwen. Thank you again. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Ground is now go for final approach. Upon confirmation of crew readiness for final approach, we will enable the approach. Please confirm crew readiness. And a reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are no longer permitted. Who is ready for final approach?
Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Happy soft capture confirmed. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, hard capture is complete. You are go to open visors. Copy hard capture complete, opening visors. Inside node two now, you see over to the left is uh, NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. Going from left to right, we have uh, Crew Dragon Resilience Commander Mike Hopkins followed by Suichi Noguchi and International Space Station Commander and NASA astronaut Shannon Walker. We can kind of see the hatch uh, from this angle. Hopefully it remains unobstructed. We may be able to see the, oh, yep, yes. you can see the handles <laughs> moving a little bit. Yes, there it goes. Again, this is being opened from the interior side of the Crew Dragon vehicle. This is the Crew 2 crew performing this work right now. It looks like the crew on station is getting excited <laughs> yeah. peeking in. I can feel the energy <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, Dragon Hatch is open. You're already seeing a bunch of smiles. <laughs> Endeavor arriving. Bing, bing. We got some confirmation that the crew is go for ingress, and you can see <laughs> Aki is the first to ingress onto the International Space Station. And Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> and Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> Followed by Tamar Pesquet from the European Space Agency. <laughs> Lots of hugs and smiles right now. Pilot uh, Megan MacArthur of Crew 2 is next, being welcomed by the Expedition 65 crew members, <laughs> and, and Shane Kimbrough bringing up the rear. The 11-person crew of Expedition 65 now together inside No. 2 of the International Space Station.